The Fusion Reactor Cloud has access to both live and historic data. Historic data is sent once per minute in the form of data packs, which are processed and the data stored for up to 90 days. Low resolution metrics in cloud are stored for 90 days. This includes all graphed metrics on the server level. High resolution and application metrics are stored for seven days. This includes the slow and error transactions, as well as any data available metrics in the application's view, as well as any data available metrics in the application's view. To view historic metrics in the cloud, you can use the time picker to select a time frame. You can select a predefined window such as last day or set a custom time frame. Within the server view, you can view the historic data in the graphs and transactions view. With this data, you can analyze performance or trends for the specific instance of Fusion Reactor. Data such as the profiles, threads, stack traces, and the tracing view use the live connection, which is only available for online servers and uses a bi-directional tunnel to communicate with the instance. In the transactions view, slow, error, and save transactions use the historic data whereas the running and recent filters use live data and show you the same data you would see in the local instance. Within the applications view, all the information is aggregated based on historic data. Here, you can view transaction data and metrics based on the total time taken, average request time, throughput, as well as slow and error transactions. If you have load balanced applications or containers that redeploy the same application, data from all the instances will be aggregated in a single view. Within the Metrics Explorer, you can view all the low level historic data and create custom views and dashboards. If you have a set of graphs you would like to see per instance, or would like a view to compare instances or applications, you can create views for this.